Mockmaster have released the KM5, which is their first coffee grinder designed to complement their range of coffee brewers. Hi, I'm Peter from Coffee Parts. Let's get into it. Typical Mocha Master fashion, the first thing you notice with the KM5 is its design language. It's timeless in design and really has been designed to complement the rest of the Mocha Master range. So when you look at the KM5 and you see the brewer, you can really identify it as being part of the same family. Paired with that, it's still handmade in the Netherlands to a quality standard of the days gone by. Inside the grinder, it's running a 50mm flat stainless steel burr paired with a stepless grind adjustment ranging from 1 to 9. Now, this grinder was designed to be paired with a Mocha Master Brewer. And for this brewer, you're going to be running at a 5 to 6 range, which sits in the middle of that range. But the grinder goes as low as a medium to fine grind in the 1 to 2 range and all the way up to a cold brew in the 7 to 9. Now, one thing this grinder was not designed to do is espresso, but that really sits with the company ethos of being a filter coffee maker or batch brew machine, whichever way you like to think of it. So I'm not surprised it doesn't do espresso. Looking through the components of the grinder, the hopper is made of BPA free plastic, holds 250 grams of coffee and is very reminiscent of the water tank of the coffee brewer. So you really do see the similarity in the design aspect. Talking about the design aspect, when you look at the body, you've got an alloy body which once again is very similar to the body of the brewer and keeping in with that timeless design look and feel. Now this does come also in white and silver. So to launch the three colors are black, white and silver. When it comes to the coffee canister here, it's made of glass and has markings across the front. Now the markings are more as an indicator so you know how much you've ground, but I'll still be using a scale for consistency. It comes with two different lids. This lid here, which allows for you to grind straight into the canister and not make any mess, because there is a bit of static in the grinder. And this secondary lid here, which allows you to take the coffee with you. Now, generally I wouldn't promote pre-ground coffee or taking coffee with you. I'd say grind and drink it fresh. But it might be used to say if you're going camping and with other forms of coffee makers, like an AeroPress, or you could be taking some coffee to work where you may not have a grinder, or whatever it might be. So it does have a use case. Below that sits the switch. Now, this is one thing that annoys me about this grinder, is the switch here. The grinder basically grinds when you activate the switch. Now, the thing is, you have to hold down that switch. And for me personally, I like to multitask. I'd like to switch it and just say, fill this water tank up with water while the coffee is grinding. But it's not a really a big issue, just a bit of an annoyance. And I could see that in the future, something that it might come with a different switch as an option. When it comes to grinding, the KM5 is very similar to other grinders, especially with how loud it is. So we're gonna grind some coffee. Now this is in the Mocha Master setting. We've got it set to five at the moment. So similar kind of loudness to other grinders on the market. One cool thing is this grinder is being certified by the European Coffee Brewing Center, which really is a testament to Mock Master's dedication to quality. Now talking quality, Mock Master is one of the few brands that not only on this grinder, but on their brewers, comes with a five year warranty, which in the coffee space is really unheard of. When it comes to cleaning the grinder, all you simply need to do is get some cleaning products like the Cafeto Grinds Cleaner, run it through instead of running coffee and it cleans the burrs and the inside of that chute. Now, if you want to give it a deep clean, you can also do that quite simply. First things first, you remove the hopper. There's only one screw connecting the hopper to the grinder body. Once you remove the hopper, you got your top plate in plastic with two clips. Undoing those clips removes that top plate and now you see the inside of the grinder. There is three screws holding that top burr carrier. Once you remove those three screws, you've got access to your top burr and you see your bottom burr inside the grinder. Now you do this for a deep clean or to replace the burrs. So most likely you'll never probably do this, but if you were to do it, it's quite easy. 
So other comparable grinders on the market for filter coffee brewing are things like the Barasa Encore and the Fella Oak. And that leads me to the next section. Who is this grinder for? This grinder competes head to head with the Fella Oak, yet the design language is quite different. Although they're both beautiful, they're both very different grinders to use and aesthetically they're different. And that's where I think this grinder wins for those that have or are buying a Mocha Master. Visually, this sits perfect next to the Mocha Master, where something like the Fella Ode is quite a different design language. So I do feel that this grinder is perfect for those with a Mocha Master brewer. Yet, I'd like to know your thoughts. What do you think of the new Mocha Master KM5? Do you feel that Mocha Master should just stick to brewers, or do you like that they brought out a grinder? Let me know on the comments below. And like always, if this video has brought you value, hit that thumbs up. And if you haven't yet, Please subscribe. Thank you and see you on the next video.